headed back to the Washita. Back to the trail. shelter where I'm going to start. It's not very far off. So, just thought that this was a beautiful. Wow, what a view right there. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. picking up and starting where I left off which was uh, back in November the uh, we hiked up to the plan had been to hike up to state line shelter and spend the night and then hike to Queen Wilhelmina which is about four and a half almost five miles and pick up our our vehicles and then drive home that day um, what actually happened was we got up to state line shelter and uh, Kyle one of the guys that was hiking with us needed to get home so him and Warren and Tim went ahead and hiked all the way to Queen Wilhelmina, picked up the vehicles, and then came back to State Line Shelter and picked me up. I just was spent. I couldn't go any further. I was done for the day. So they picked me up right here in this parking lot. Um, and the trail is just across the street. So what I'll do is I'll go down and then it's, uh, I don't know, maybe 100 yards down to the shelter. And that's where I'll officially pick up where I left off. So today, on the 27th, it's Tuesday, uh, Tim and Warren are stashing water and going to drop up a vehicle at Brushy Creek, just past Brushy Creek Shelter, I believe that's it. And then there, we have a campsite reserved at Queen Wilhelmina, and uh, they're going to meet me there. So I'm going to hike in. I don't know how long it'll take me because I don't know what, what the terrain's really like. And... Uh, leave the truck here meet them there come back and get my truck and then drive up there and we're gonna spend the night up there have a good dinner tonight and then actually officially hit the trail tomorrow I just have to make up this four point whatever miles all right about ready to hit the trail it's uh, one o'clock. Up here on the sign. All right, so here we go. Queen Wilhelmina Lodge, 5.3 miles. Back like this way. First blue blades right there. We're off.
This is the shelter. Pretty nice. Not bad. It's got a tarp even. You need it. So, all right. Well, I'm headed out. I just wanted to uh, film the shelter. Didn't know if I'd get any different view, but everything's pretty much, uh, you know, trees are covering all the views. That's where I'm at. All right. Just starting off from the shelter, right down there. I've got the chest mount on. Just wanna try it out and see what it's like. But uh, here we go. Some flowers there. I'm trying to uh, use, play around with the warp speeds how it works out. See if it picks up. No views, but you know, I enjoy, I enjoy really hiking through this because you see down there at the end of the trail, see as far as you can see with the camera. Well, my, what I like is what's, what's right around there where you can't see yet. What are you going around the corner on? That's what draws me to, uh, Hiking. It's a sense of adventure. you can say I'm up here amongst the clouds see that uh, clouds rolling through the mountain here pretty cool um, I don't know how well it would pick it the GoPro will pick it up but it's pretty nice pretty cool when you're hiking through and uh, it's not fog, it's just the clouds roll through. Sometimes you can see them, like a big cloud will come up on you and blow through and that's really cool. Right now you're just getting some small stuff. I doubt the camera can even pick it up. But just before I turn the camera on, about 25 feet in front of me there's just a big cloud it's just like a white bank flowing across the mountain pretty thick like you couldn't even see all the way through it so I don't know pretty cool just another uh, part of the trail so
of that. Looks like we're coming up on a little rock field. These are scattered all over the first sections through Oklahoma. And I see that they didn't stop in Arkansas. <coughs> I don't know if you can see right over there through the trees. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it's like there's another one that runs all the way down. I don't know, maybe right down there is the side of the mountain. I don't, I don't know. This probably isn't even the main rock spree field. There's probably another one up there that's, cause this one's actually pretty small compared to uh, the ones in Oklahoma. I'll keep the camera rolling for just a minute. See if uh, we go around the corner here and see if there's another rock field. I must be close to the lodge because I just saw some people I guess the trail runs up the hill right there and they were at the at that hill and they I thought they were coming this way but they turned around they didn't have any packs on or anything so uh, I'm guessing they just hiked down here I don't know maybe that cemetery is right up here close or there's a pull off or something right up there I don't know up on the old time cemetery that's up here for whatever reason I'm just gonna walk around here and look at this locker I always thought as you were going eastbound that the actual cemetery was off to your right Maybe that's because people take this little trail that goes up to the 
top of the cemetery and that's when they start filming. Um, well, I guess there was an opening right in there, I don't know. Climbed a tree to get away from a pack of wolves. I've never heard any wolves up here like that now, but I mean, that was a long time ago. So, anyways, this is uh, Pioneer Cemetery. I guess there's a trail that leads down here from it. more good water running boy these rocks are really really slick Water running down the side of the mountain. I have no idea where it's coming from. That'd be good water to filter and drink though if you were thirsty for sure. Looks like a flood came through here and washed that out. Let me get a picture of this. section that I've done so far easiest anyways really really enjoyed this part of the hike Whew. I gotta say this has been a great part of the hike let's see I can extend this out, turn this down, and we're off. Still a mile and a half, probably a mile to the actual campground. But it uh, should be easy. 
and it looks like it's uh mostly downhill so, this was a nice section uh, to hike it wasn't a major climb or anything so. all right i'm out Who do you think built that wall, that rock wall? Yeah. I love it. He said there's no way you can make it all the way up this hill. <laughs> well, I think when you said 11, I pulled it up on Google Earth and I was like, that's not, that can't be them because 11 is like way down yeah, there. Yeah, he was way up by the bathroom and right next to a big RV and we're like, you know what? Let's just see if we can move. So when we wow. got to here, we were like dog tired. Oh yeah. I had to go all the way up there. Yeah. What time did you start? Uh, one. One. What time is it now? Uh, oh, I gotta finish this. Question. How long did it take? You? Probably two or three hours. It's four, so three hours. Yeah, it's not bad. But I went down to the shelter. I took some pictures and some video. Good. Readjusted my pack. Yeah, look at this. And I stopped. I can oh, see myself. Like, he's like oh, I don't think it's. Oh, it is recording. <laughs> I thought I turned it off, hey. but. We're uh, just leaving the lodge where we ate dinner. Is that right back over there in that corner? Had a nice chicken fried steak. All right, so it's uh, it's uh, 27th, it's at nine o'clock at night. We just got back from Queen Wilhelmina Lodge where we ate some dinner, good chicken fried steak, had a couple beers, sat around in the lobby and talked with Tim and Warren for a while. Um, really enjoyed the four and a half, it was actually more like five mile from the state line shelter to uh, our camp spot here. Uh, we have the camp spot, but uh, there's storms that are rolling in. Right now it's so foggy, literally you can't see five feet in front of you. Um, what I'm kind of waiting or debating doing is I'm waiting in the truck, but I'm debating just staying in the truck tonight. I, I really can't sleep well in the truck, but we'll see. I might end up doing that because there's supposed to be some heavy storms come in and um, I just don't really want to start the hike tomorrow with a wet pack when I have the opportunity to, you know, sleep in the truck and still be dry. So uh, that's kind of what I'm debating right now. I'm kind of figuring out, can I be comfortable enough in here to sleep? And, uh, you know, at two o'clock in the morning, if I find I'm not able to, then I'll just, uh, I have everything ready to just get up and set up my tent up, which, I can set my tent up in a couple of minutes in the dark. All in all, great day, first day. Uh, I feel really good. I'm gonna, uh, you know, hopefully, I'll check. keep checking radar. I, I do have a little bit of service up here. Barely can pull up radar, but 
Um, hopefully the storms miss us and I can get my tent set up in the next hour or so and sleep in the tent. But if not, uh, I'll just sleep here in my truck and make the best of it and get ready to hit the trail. We're only doing six and a half miles tomorrow or something like that. Uh, it's not very far to that first shelter and that's where we're going to stay. We're not going to stay down there at the camp because there's supposed to be one to two inches of rain tomorrow evening going into Thursday. Uh, so we're going to try to, we're, we're going to have to stay in a shelter. I mean, it just logically, it's, it, it makes sense to do that. So, um, I guess that's where I'm at. I'm full. Had some really good friends, good or good food, good conversation with friends. And, uh, I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed now. So I'm out.